Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how to model a piece, a fragment of a steel structural beam. Let's go. So we're gonna start with a cube, shift A, and a cube. I'm gonna be using a um, few add-ons and uh, if you would like to learn how to use them, I have tons of videos on hard ups, machine tools, mesh machine, etc. So you can go ahead and watch the videos on uh, my YouTube. But also I would like to say that for people who are starting in Blender, we have a free course called Jumpstart into Hard Surface and it's on our website, free download. So link in the description. You can learn anything you want about all the menus, basic stuff in Blender, modeling, rendering, everything, the whole package. And if you're an user, we got another one called Cypher Terminal Design in Blender also free and that one will actually show you how to model stuff with hard ups and add-ons so kind of like a step up from the other one so go ahead link in the video description and enjoy so here we're going to grab a control r with a loop and a loop here not a thin one you know we gotta be kind of a gonna be too too feeble yeah it needs to be you know kind of a structurally sound something like that and grab these two and we're going to q and out the macro and extrude them up here Maybe like that, maybe a little bit more. So Alt in macro. And all in fact what we could do is Alt S and whoa, select these two. And Alt S and move them up a bit. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So let's uh, grab these two and control B and uh, maybe, I don't know, let's say 10 segments will do. Alt X with mesh machine. If you don't have mesh machine, uh, we can do the hard ups, you know, uh, alt x, d, symmetry, and symmetrize. And there you go. Now, uh, what I need to do now is sharpen it. Uh, so, we're going to add some supports here to make it stronger. So, add another cube. And uh, we're going to scale it on x. And add it somewhere here. Maybe, maybe a little bit thinner. There we go. And move it somewhere here. So it kind of sinks into the geo, right? And go to edit mode and combine these two with machine tools, pressing one. You need to have a uh, smart vert enabled for this to work. And we're going to mirror to the other side with hard ups. Just remember to reset your mirror if you were using uh, symmetry, press X to reset the mirror. We're gonna grab one of these and go to local, select that, press E, cancel with the right mouse button, S to scale it, SX and then E to extrude it here, okay? And we're going to shift select that, Q, booleans, and union, click, control, click on sharp and done. So now D and circle, and uh, enable this uh, dot, dots here. Select these two and J, create a line here. And we're going to draw a circle here. Now 50 verts may be too big, you can see, uh, too many, you can see them on the top. 34 is enough, I think. G and just let's move it in here and cut and then um what we can do is uh recall recall this cutter and actually maybe move it to the middle so shift s and two edge i'm gonna grab that and move it to the cursor and we're gonna scale it a bit oh, actually we have to duplicate it shift d and then move it to the cursor scale it a bit and uh, drop it down a bit so I'll drop it down here in fact maybe we don't even have to scale this just do something like this and cut. So select that, select this one and SY to make it bigger. This one can be mirrored to the other side. So mirror. And let me see. We could use you know uh, more holes here in the middle. Uh, so let's just uh, uh, recover this cutter in the middle. Shift D Z, drop it down, scale it, right? And difference. Okay, S, Y, and uh, we're going to uh, array this. So, array it down. If you need to change axes, just press X. And I think this is going to look pretty cool. Awesome. So, mirror it down and we're done, right? Let's apply this and then we're going to, uh, we're going to add some chamfers, but we need to connect these a little bit better. So, Connect these, you know, connect these, connect these, and, you know, connect. Let me see here, I can't see. Connect these, all right, cool. 
this one, this one, this one, and this one, right? Dissolve. There we go. Mirror to the other side. Perfect. Now we got double edge here, which we need to get rid of. There we go. And we're going to select this, 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 this. And wait a minute. We got some double edges here too. Let's remove them. This edge wasn't in the middle. That's why. After symmetry, it happens. Press Y with Mesh Machine and I select a Control B. And if you're going to get pulls on verts, what you can do is go here and turn off the loop slide might help a bit and uh, mirrors applied so we're good to go right so you know that's uh, the basic shape let's just uh, go here to operation smart apply uh, and now we can keep going so here what we're gonna do is we're going to select that and press F and go here to Q and booleans and select the boolean scale it in okay and simply you know extrude it so S Y make it bigger. Whoa, that's the big S Y. There we go. And let me see. Uh, make it a bit smaller like that. That's cool. Let's actually uh, apply this. So operations multiply. Uh, go to edge mode. Control Alt click here. Disable these edges though because we don't need them. Control B and you know uh, let's say eight segments will do. Create something like that. That's pretty cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to control R this in the middle, control B to uh, scale this, remove all the loops. And this one is a bit too deep, so select that and GG and move it in. Maybe somewhere here. Right, or oh, actually, we could move it to the end. Yeah, this is fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab that and alt and macro outside. But don't overdo it, yeah? Just a little bit, okay? something like that and uh, you know maybe scale it a bit more here so S shift that shift Y scale it in a bit that's cool uh, we can remove that and uh, let's just you know sharpen this and also the cutter I think needs to be sharpened because uh, we got some faceting in here so let me see that uh, let me recover this cutter oh in fact uh, we could uh, have a scroll what's going on here uh, let's just sharpen this. Uh, operations, Shift, Control, click on Sharpen. There we go, that's better. So we had sharp edges here in the middle. That's sorted. Cool. So here we can slice it with a uh, box cutter. So box and slice it here. And we're going to slice it from the top here as well. And let's recover that. And SX and scale it a bit. And we're going to mirror it to the other side like that. And... Uh, uh, maybe mirror it to the bottom as well and then apply it, okay? So let's multiply it. Boom. Awesome. Uh, we need some uh, chamfer here for sure. And let's recalculate sharpen. So shift control click on sharpen to add some sharp edges here. And that's looking good. Now, though just for fun, we're going to add some more structurals, you know, sort of a, um, details here on the side. So let's select these. Press W to turn on box cutter because it may start doing some stupid shit. Um, let's just uh, press I to insert. Actually, no. Let's go to F and then Q and Booleans and selection to Boolean. Scale it down with Shift and then click and then, you know, cut it in. But just don't go too deep because you will cut in the, uh, you know, you'll cut in through the walls. You don't want to do that. Uh, something like that will do. And we go from the side and press D and go on turn off cyclic and then we can draw an angle. If you don't see any thickness, just press T and you're going to be able to adjust this, uh, the thickness. You want to follow this edge here to make it a bit more, uh, you know, interesting, maybe a bit thicker here on this side. And we're going to grab the cutter, shift click on the shape and mirror this to the other side. Okay, just the cutter. Okay, and we are good. Unless I can easily create uh, some cool shapes for, you know, for your buildings, for your bridges, for your structures, whatever, for your environments, uh, or for a kit bash if you need one. So it's also a good practice to, you know, work in hard surface and create some different shapes, challenge yourself. 
So like I said guys, links in the video description and the free courses for you guys. People love these courses. We have over 20,000 downloads, which is kind of insane. And also all the links to add-ons I'm using in the video description. Plus, if you need to learn how to use the add-ons, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel, so check them out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.